Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, we're talking about using dialogues in custom Alexa skills. So if you've got a skill that is going to have a back and forth conversation with a user, that's referred to as a multi-turn conversation. The easiest way to do that is with dialogues, which um, is what we're going to talk about today. And as the, uh, the demo, I'm going to just create a simple skill VUI for uh, a sales coaching skill. And this skill is going to ask the user a couple of questions that it's going to get uh, the answers to and then just uh, spit back what it heard. So it's just a pretty simple example, but it'll illustrate how to use uh, dialogues and custom skills. So um, for starters, let's see, we are going to go into uh, go into the developer council and we're going to create a new skill. And um, I'm going to call this uh, sales coach. Like that. And there is a, a really helpful tool that uh, I came across recently in the Alexa cookbook, which if you go to github.com slash Alexa, you can uh, find it in the Alexa cookbook and then tools and then the VUI testing tool. And I use this, um, I've already got this set up and I'll show you how uh, you can create a, uh, just kind of a generic backend for your skill for testing um, voice user interfaces. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab this code here and use it to create a Lambda function. So I'm just copying that. I'm gonna go over here now to aws.amazon.com. And if any of this is unfamiliar to you, I will leave links to other videos where I talk about uh, this. But we're gonna create a, uh, a Lambda function and so that it's got the Alexa skills kit in it, I'm gonna just pick one of the um, blueprints that's available and I'm going to call this sales coach like that and we're going to use the uh, uh, that's fine and create this function and it's got some boilerplate code in here but we're going to replace that with the uh, with the code that we copied from this VUI tester over here so once the Lambda function is created, just go in here and then select all of that and then paste in the code for the VUI testing tool. And we got it in there and now we can save it. And then I need to copy the ARN, the Amazon resource name, and then go back over to my skill that I just created and then go to configuration here and configure that generic um, Back end, okay, it looks like the trigger wasn't set for some reason. Hmm. Okay, it appears to be set now, let me try that again. Okay, now we're all set. Now we can go over here to create our interaction model. And to do this, we're gonna use the skill builder beta. And this makes creating um, interaction models really easy, especially if you're using dialogues because the, uh, the code for that, it's just a JSON file, but it, it can get involved quick. So this is just a really easy way to, uh, to work with it. So um, I'm gonna go back here and look at my dialogue that I have. So I'm, I'm asking three questions in this. I'm gonna have a single intent that's going to um, ask the user what their sales goal is for the year, what their average commission or their average, um, how much they make per sale, and then how many prospects they need to connect with to make a single sale on average. And then we'll just kind of play that back. So um, we'll start by creating a, an intent here, and I'm gonna call this coach intent. And uh, set my goals will be the invocation or the uh, utterance. 
And here, now we're gonna add those slots and we've got three of them. So we've got these uh, sale, sales goal. Uh, we've got the average um, income. And then we've got total prospects. So now I'm collecting three values here. They, they all happen to be, for this example, they all happen to be numbers, so it's easy. So we're gonna use uh, a built-in slot type. What am I doing here? The uh, Amazon number is the built-in slot type, and all of these are gonna use Amazon, the number. They're all numbers that we're grabbing. Okay, um, so now I've got my coach intent and I've got my three slots. Uh, I need all of these, so I'm going to require all three of them. So these are not optional, I need those. So I'm gonna select required here, and then if I go over to each one of them, this is where I can use the, the dialogue model to prompt the user if the, um, the value isn't provided. I don't need to do this in my backend skill service, which makes it uh, a whole lot easier. So for my sales goal, I will just ask the user, um, uh, what is your, um, I'll say, let me say something different. How much do you wanna make? Make in the next year. And the user is gonna say to that, um, their sales goal, which is a number, and then dollars. And I'm gonna confirm what they've said. So down here I can use slot confirmation to say, um, so you want to make, Sales goal dollars. And then I'll say, right, ask the question, and then they should confirm yes or no there. If they confirm yes, it'll move on to the next question. If they confirm no, it will, in this case, re, uh, replay and ask them again, prompt them again for their sales goal. So we'll go on to their average income, and we'll ask, um, uh, on average, How much do you make from a single sale? And we're going to confirm this also. Uh, I'll say from one sale, you make average income dollars on average. Correct. And then my total prospects is my last slot value here that I need to fill. And we're going to ask how many total prospects do you need to contact to make a single sale. And we'll confirm this with um, you need to contact total prospects to make a sale. Did I hear you right? That right. Okay, so now we have our three slots and we have our um, prompts and actually the we need some utterances here. I left out. So when we prompt the user on average, how much do you make from a single sale? we need uh, to create an utterance on how the user is going to respond. And I think in this case, they are going to also say average dollars. 
I'll just use one here. Really should have like a, a list of these, um, but for this example, keep it simple. And then total prospects, same thing, I left that out. So we're saying how many total prospects do you need to contact to make a single sale? And I think in this case, they'll probably just respond with a number. So we'll just say, uh, we'll just leave the, uh, the utterances, just the slot value. Okay, so now I think we've got all that. The last thing that I wanna do just for this example is confirm all of this in the uh, the intent confirmation. So here, after we've asked and collected the response for each one of these slots and confirmed the response, the very last thing that we're gonna do is confirm the entire intent. So we'll say, um, so you want to make sales goal dollars this year um, you make average dollars average in income sale and you need to uh, oh, that was right to contact Total prospects make a sale. Is that right? Okay, so now I think we have everything that we need to illustrate this and I'm gonna just go through it one more time. So I've got my new intent, my custom intent here called the coach intent and uh, to um, uh, the utterance that we're gonna listen for is set my goals. So the user will say something like, um, ask sales manager to set my goals. And then uh, we're gonna prompt them for their sales goal, which is um, how much they wanna make in a year. And then we've got the utterance that's gonna come back that we're expecting is the total dollars. And then we're gonna confirm that and we're gonna do the same thing for each of these other ones. And then finally, we're gonna confirm all of that with this confirmation message for the intent. So let's save this and then build it and then we'll test it. The build's gonna take a minute, so I'll pause and come back. Okay, so the model's done building. Let's go to, um, let's go test it, let's see. So I'm going to turn my Alexa on here and we'll just start with this. You are 0 0.44 miles, 0 0.71 kilometers east of the center Alexa, of stop. West Cape. Open sales coach. Okay, and we're getting our response back from our stubbed out skill service. So everything looks like it should be working. Now we'll test it for real. Um, Alexa, ask sales coach to coach me or to set my sales goals. Mm -hmm. Alexa, ask sales coach to set my sales goals. How much do you want to make in the next year? $150,000. So you want to make $150,000, right? That's right. On average, how much do you make from a single sale? $20,000. From one sale, you make $20,000 on average, correct? Correct. How many total prospects do you need to contact to make a single sale? 25. You need to contact 25 prospects to make a sale. Did I hear that right? Yes, you did. So you want to make $150,000 this year. You make $20,000 per sale and you need to contact 25 prospects to make a sale. Is that right? That's right. Your endpoint receive a request. Here's a breakdown. Alexa, stop. So that's it. That is uh, how easy it is to set up an interaction model using dialogues. I'm going to um, 
wrap this video up with that, but I will do a future video that um, talks about working with the, uh, the dialogue interface in the skill service in the Lambda backend. But that's it for now. Hopefully this was valuable. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those and I'll respond just as uh, quickly as I can. If you did think the video was valuable, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.